Hello my besties, how are you? Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are here for the first time, welcome. My name is Kathy and this is my DIY channel. Please consider subscribing if you like to save money and do some fun DIYs. In today's video, I have something fun for you. A double wreath with these cuties from Dollar Tree. It wouldn't be fall without scarecrows, right? And don't worry if you can't get these. I will create stencils for you just in case if you cannot find these in your stores. So let's do some double wreaths today. We're gonna have so much fun and as usual, on the budget. All the supplies today come from a Dollar Tree, including these adorable felt scarecrows, 18 inches tall. I'm thinking about my besties who cannot find these or live outside the US. Just comment down below and I will email you the stencil or log into my Facebook page and you can get it right there. 12 pack of felt at Walmart is $2.49. In addition, you are going to need two mini wreath forms. They sell them in a two pack at Dollar Tree, which is perfect. Our scarecrows will need hair, so I recommend getting three packs of raffia and four rolls of burlap and any other ribbon for the embellishments and a pack of leaves. In addition, we are going to need a pack of the pipe cleaners and a couple daisies, uh, sunflowers, or any little flowers like that. Oh, I know it's so hard to give them away. I'm sorry, ladies, the following content might be graphing and disturbing for some of you. Yes, we had to remove the head, and then there was no other way of doing it but ripping out the hat with the hair and everything. But I promise you, the scarecrows will love the way they're gonna look. And now we're gonna work on the new and improved hair for our scarecrows. So we're gonna cut our pipe cleaners in half. We're gonna be using only halves. And then we cut the burlap and raffia seven inches long pieces. We put the raffia on top of burlap we pinch it, find the middle point by folding in half, and then tie it together with the pipe cleaner, just like so. Create a little bundle like this. And we are gonna continue and make 17 more. Yes, we're gonna need a total of 18 if we wanna get a full head of hair for our beautiful scarecrow. Next is the face transplant. And it would have been so much easier if we worked with a full circle. Unfortunately, we have only half. <laughs> so we have to attach it to the reform. And we're gonna use the little hole that was already there where the fastener used to be. We're gonna insert with the floral wire and uh, tie it right there at the bottom. And then we need to create two holes on both sides. And I'm using a, like a turkey needle for that. Whatever sharp you can find in your house, guys, to uh, do a little hole just big enough to insert the floral wire. And then you attach it on the other two sides.
it's going to look like this. And please note that the reform has three sections divided by little bars. And there is one bar at the top. And the way I place the face, uh, the two bars are on both sides of the smile. Uh, I'm going to show you that up close in a minute. But first, the fun part. This is going to be a girl and I thought it would be wonderful if she had two braids. <laughs> Why not, right? So once you straighten up your raffia, you pull it under and over that little sidebar. Uh, right there at the top at 12 o'clock. And then you're going to do the same thing on both sides. You're going to feed it under and over the little side bars. Here you can see it more up close. And now we can work on the braids. Just divide in three and braid. Cut when you reach the desired length and tie it with a hair tie or a rubber band. Trim again the ends to make the braids more or less even. And here's our cutie. She is looking much better already. And now we are going to install the little hair bundles that we made. We're going to put them on the inner two rails right there. We simply put the bundle on the two inner rails and twist twice in the back. And then we take another one, put right next to it, and so on until we fill in the section. I think six per section is very nice and full. If you like a fuller, tighter look, you might want to do more bundles. But six per section times three, uh, that's why we made 18. So the first section is done and our scarecrow looks like a rock star. <laughs> and now we're going to continue the other two sections. Okay, so two sections are done and we have only the bottom section left. And I recommend adding the hair bundles here to the two outer rails. Why? Because the mouth is so close over there, I don't want it to get covered by the hair.
and we are done look how amazing how full it is our braids get a little bit lost in all that hair so if you want you might want to do bigger thicker braids i decide to cut 12 inches of ribbon and tie little bows on at the end of each braid to emphasize it a little bit I think it's so cute, I love it. Next, I work on the hat to embellish it a little bit more. I want to add a little buffalo check belt for my lady. looking sharp and uh, let's pull away that yellow felt and we're gonna give her real hay fingers and toes <laughs> but first let's fix the male outfit too My goodness, they're gonna look amazing. All right, let's give them some real hay fingers and toes now. We're gonna add some extra hat glue at the top and cover it up with that yellow uh, hay felt that we had removed. We are going to repeat the same exact process with all the limbs. <laughs>
isn't she lovely? Um, I think she's perfect. I'm not going to even trim anything because I just love it the way it is. Here I just want to show you the head because even the head alone, if you want to just do that, is a very cute reef. If you want to attach the body like I do, you're going to use that hole that's already there, insert your floral wire, and tie it to the reef frame. There she is! I just don't like the flimsy arms, so I'm gonna insert a bamboo stick in the back so her arms are wide open like there should be on a real scarecrow, right? Oh my goodness, wind blew some leaves in her hair, so we have to attach them here and there. And a couple leaves in her hat. Let's make sure the hat is secure so the wind doesn't blow it away. We attach it a little bit with the wire at the top because there was a hole already where the hanger was. And the rest we're just going to add some hat glue. Let's make a simple raffia bow to decorate her dress. right there on the top of her belt. I feel like we need a little bit extra, that cherry on the top, so we're gonna use the bittersweet from Dollar Tree. I think she's ready. Are you ready for the big reveal? I think she's lovely and wonderful and I love her little braids. Let's work on her men now. So these supplies are already included in the list that I gave you in the beginning of this video. Just want to show you how much goes into one scarecrow. She doesn't go with the scarecrow, but I want to show you she has the most relaxing day today. Look at her. <laughs> We're going to do the male version exact same way like we did the female. Um, I cut the pipe cleaners in half, pre-cut the brown raffia in 7 inches already. Uh, we're going to cut the burlap 7 inches as well. Um, everything the same way, except that, as you see, I'm using a little bit darker colors here. Who said that all scarecrows have to be blonde, right? <laughs> I'm still gonna use some bland hair because uh, I just simply don't have enough brown, but I'm gonna do a mix. And uh, in the beginning, the raffia is a little bit thin, so I have to cut one more time, just so I have a little bit more. And here I'm adding a couple extra brown hairs some highlights and lowlights right here <laughs> and just like I did in the beginning I put it on top of burlap fold it in half and twist it 
And just like that, we have to create 18 little bundles. And then we follow all exact same steps. Remember the face transplant, then the hair attachments. <laughs> uh, the first uh, two sections, we do the inner circle, right? The inner rails. And when we finish the two sections, the bottom section, we do the outer two rails because we don't want to cover the mouth, right? And just like that, we have a Mr. Handsome. Do you like him with their care? Please comment down below and let me know, uh, do you prefer uh, dark or blonde? And uh, I mean uh, scarecrow. <laughs> we do the fingers and toes exact same way like we did for the lady, um, except again, I mix in a little bit of that dark raffia in there. And this is how it looks. I really like it like that. The more I think about it, I don't think I've seen scarecrows with the brown hair before. <laughs> I guess because the straw is blonde, that's why. But uh, you know what? This is uh, interesting. It's nice, something different. I hope you guys gonna like it too. And now a couple finishing touches, uh, you know, like for the girl, we gave bittersweet. So for the boy, we're going to give him an acorn, attach that hat, add some leaves in the hair. Let's not forget about a bow tie for our Mr. Handsome. I think he's ready now. Oops, some hay is sticking out of his packet. <laughs> cowboy, there he is. Isn't he just adorable? <laughs> Look at that guy. What else can I add? <laughs> the guy is so cute, he can't even scare any crows away. <laughs> and here's the look at our lovely couple. How perfect do they look on my double doors? <laughs> I just can't get enough of them. They're so cute. Oh my goodness, guys. I cannot tell you how much fun I had making these and 
uh, I truly encourage you to go for it. You're not going to regret it. These are such big statement pieces. Over the top, adorable. Alright my besties, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're gonna hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Take care, see you in the next video, bye bye. Coco, you gonna say bye? Wait, bye bye. <laughs> Take care, bye.